Hello my friends, welcome to the recap of Gman 4F week 3. Three weeks passed already. That the time the time is flowing very fast. And all matches are played in our division. This week I couldn't make many videos about the replays. Very sorry about that. Life is very busy, work is very busy, and here it is festival. Um so very busy. I could only make a replay video for the uh, only for one match. Uh, it was the it was the match number six, goblins versus orcs. It was a nice match. Uh, if you feel like you can watch that video under my YouTube videos, and uh, let me show also the list of the matches here like this in here match number two match number three and the last match i watched these matches and took some notes but the matches in red color unfortunately i couldn't see the matches i will try to make comments about the result about the in-game results page i hate to do that but that's all i can do and let's continue first of all with the overall weave of the table these are the results the leaderboard we have three teams at the top uh, lizard men dark elf and the humans uh, they entered the, the last week all with two wins but they all got the draws actually lizard team and the human team played each other the dark elf team got a draw with the number four so uh, top no, top four teams got draw then we got high house and orcs and scaven and dwarves and ogres <laughs> five teams with the same record fantastic then we see necromantics number 10 chaos dwarves and nurgle with one win only goblins following at number 13 with one draw and the chaos sharing the same point one points with the goblins but they're in the last place yeah this is the current table and let's continue with the uh, league of the suffering let me open that page for you about this week as you can see Nurgle got nine points in the table this week in the overall table with 28 points they're number one they suffered too much every week they are giving a death or deaths so that's really horrible for them so far and this week especially they also get the highest point nine points then we see some six points chaos and goblin team goblin team yeah every week that's not very surprising to see goblin team losing suffering too much but yeah that's unfortunate we see some teams so far i don't want to jinx it but maybe i want to jinx it especially if it is about chaos dwarfs <laughs> three matches they didn't suffer anything high house that's surprising lizard team no skin loss interesting orcs yeah that's fair they're strong these four teams didn't suffer anything so far that's interesting we expect to see them also getting some points and enter the competition and the tv league this week uh, we lost some value 240 and at the top of the table necromantic team they are reserving they are keeping their number one and we see lizard team they are always high but they are increasing value dark elf team decreased some value and they dropped to number three and we see wood elves increasing value orcs increasing high elves increasing dwarves dropped and increased again jumped back again chaos is losing value this week chaos dwarves 
increasing their value this week too. Scaven increasing, improving their TV. Human team keep dropping and it's a bigger, bigger drop this week. Ogres lost two Ogres for the next match. So their TV is too low. Nurgle team, you know the story. <laughs> they are just dying this season. And Goblins, they are very low also. But Goblins especially, uh, I am not wrong. If I remember correctly, they lost a troll, yeah. That's why that's a very big loss on the team value and if we continue with the predictions and also we can uh, after this we can continue with the results uh, week three when we check the results war demon with 16 points very nice then andion 13 points and actually the points are very close to each other very nice i have 12 and hellenic is the last word grats to the war demon very nice he got the draw here he got the draw here if he if he could make the change here he could have extra 10 points <laughs> he got the result here for three matches he got the result very nice he got the result here he got very close here he he couldn't know the result but he got the touchdown number here he got a point also from here only this match he has a zero point very nice job war demon congrats my friend and now if you like we can continue to comment about the results we finished the intro and let's jump to the results now uh, first match of the week was between uh, Skaven and Dwarves. Let's open the match page. It is 1 1. If we can see the result page, 7 armor breaks uh, from Skaven and 13 armor breaks from Dwarves. Not surprising. 1 that here they mm, they make one interception dwarves very interesting very interesting mvps are going to do pretty nice pretty nice when we check the results here 38 blocks to 47 blocks one injury, one kill inflicted, so one scaven died. When we check the dice results, wild animal is pretty good for the red ogre. Just average, actually. Loner failed one time. Four catches, two passes. Pickups are bad, it looks like, but maybe he tried some difficult pickups maybe chaos came back very nicely injuries good dodges okay armors They're considering some mighty blow hits probably oh we connect again that's why i am not streaming alive uh my internet connection really very problematic. Let's find the leak back. Here we are back. We can continue with the SPP for the teams. Dwarves got very good SPP this week. 10 plus 7, 17 SPP to here, 12 SPP. Pretty cool. And also, it is possible 
uh, let's check the result page from the rebel page to also if we can catch some different information here and the lineman died so it is not a very big loss let's see if he can get a claw here i wonder about this level up he got a new gutter runner and on the dwarves here there is a level up Yeah, it's a it's a good result for the for the both sides. I think draw looks like an okay result. Yeah, let's continue with the next match. Next match is a next match is between lizards and humans. I watched this match and let me check my notes it is the match number two of the week and let's also open the match result page when we are talking about this match two two it's a draw two teams were it, it was the clash of the top teams in our division and let's check my notes uh, lizards were 11 plus two skins so 13 players human team at 12 players they got some inducements so they bought mighty zark with wizard human choose to receive turn one uh Lizards got the perfect defense, no removal and no good hits on the opening hits. And while the ball was open to a hit, they, the human team tried a one die hit and failed. Lizard used their blitz to hit the ball carrier with one GFI. The ball sacker had wrestle and tackle against blotch sidestep but lizards rolled double skull on the gfi so they couldn't hit the ball turn two this time the human got unlucky double skulled with the ogre and he died actually ogre had had guard and brack tackle then apple saved him to an armor break but probably it means a new ogre it is a good time to replace and try to look for a block or double another double or a strength up and lizards tried a 1d on the blotch blotch sidestep ball carrier uh, I, I didn't like it at that turn turn three human coach tried the some three plus dodges to clear the ball to save the ball Th that could be very costly if he one over nine any of them he could be in very big trouble he, but instead he could use the blitz to clear the ball it could be safer to run away turn four human team continued to not fail their three plus dodges and lizards lizard team was hoping uh, six or five from the crocs to do 2d blitz to you know uh, free the crocs so he so he can go and Marked the ball, but he double scout. Also, loner failed. It was a good time for the good moment for the human team. Turn five, human uh, should have just complete the cage, but they took a two D hit on a blood skink. No pow. Result forced him to make a dodge and a GFI to prevent a one D on the ball. So these dodges and GFIs can always go wrong. Uh, it, it, the case should be the higher priority and should not. I mean, you are hitting a blush skin. You cannot hope a pow. Lizard team made a good pressure on the ball. Blush sidestep diving tackle was marking the ball carrier. 
then on turn 6, human team found the power. After a double skull reroll, then got a power push, so cleared the ball, then found another power with the ball carrier, two dice hit on a blood skink and run for the touchdown. On turn 6, humans scored, so it is 1 0. Turn 7, lizard team started with a handoff, it was lucky, and made a blood potato run to the right. In my opinion, didn't need to hurry up this fast. He could just run right and group there. But this turn also got extra injury, so humans surely uh, guaranteed to be down to 10 players in the second half. Turn 8, human got the hit with uh, in 2 GF5 range. But he they got the pow. So only a Saurus was in the range at the end for the touchdown. But human team risked a 1D on him and made it easier for the Lizards after the push result. I think should just sandwich the Saurus there and just leave like that without taking the hit. Then his Lizard team had a long shot with a 3 plus pick up, 2 GFIs and a 5 plus handoff. To the to the Saurus in the touchdown zone, but they failed, and first half ended 1-0 for the humans. In the second half, human team got ten players plus wizard, that's important, and lizard team eleven players with one skink as a subs. But the good skink was a uh, chaos. Turn nine, uh, human lineman block tackle chaos himself on a failed GFI. And it wasn't a very necessary GFI, honestly. So they, they are down to 9 players. Turn 10, Lizard team got another 2 more Chaos, actually. Then Human team down to 7 players. Uh, by the way, carrying the ball on a bad skin would be a better idea at that point for the Lizard team. Because there is the Human team has the Wizard. And there is a ball to risk anytime. Turn 12. Lizards left a 2D uh, hit with 2 GFI on the blue skink for no reason. Human team got that hit and with reroll, they used the reroll and KO'd the blue skink. Turn 13, Lizards somehow cleared the ball with wrestle and human strength 4 thrower is also KO'd this turn. And laser team run for the touchdown with some one over nines, and it is one one. They were planning to win the game at this point, obviously. Only one KO came back for the humans. That's unfortunate. Human team is seven players plus wizard. They have two reroll versus eleven lizard players with one reroll. Anything can happen. Human team got four turns to score for the win. And Lizard team got three turns to steal and go for the win if they can. Then turn 14, good start for the human team. Quick snap and touch back. They KO the break tackle, block tackle. Saurus. And Lizard team used the Apo to keep that Saurus on the field. That was really very greedy for me, in my opinion. Because they get some valuable players. Apo, I think should be reserved for that I mean saving a stat bust or a dead player 2015 human team got the pause on their hits opened their way for the runaway stayed on the sideline with blotch sidestep blitzer they bolted and armor break the wrestle tackle saurus that was in range to hit their ball carrier it was fair enough but there is a possible surf play for the lizards at that point. Even the ball carrier's carrier has sidestep or adjust to the hit on the blotch ball carrier. Turn 15, then lizard answers with taking a risk. They tried to give a difficult shot on the touchdown for the humans, but at the same time they bring a skink into the touchdown zone. So if they fail something, they could score. 
But actually, it wasn't very difficult for the human team to score. They just needed a 2 plus block to free a lineman. Blitz with, with the down strength 4 blitzer and 2D needs a yellow or block. Then probably just a dodge skill and a reroll. At turn 15, human team scored a touchdown with almost similar play. And they got the lead with 2-1. They used to jump up on the strength 4 blitzers, not the blitz. I think it was a risky move there. If they have failed to jump up, it could be risky. And here it looks like over, right? Uh, but laser team matched the one turn touchdown. Congratulations. It was very nice. It was, in, uh, it, it was a 3 plus pickup, 4 plus pass. 3 plus catch with reroll and in reroll that skink has catch skill already 3 GFIs with sprint and sure feet boom it was it ended as 2-2 two, two. I think it, it's a fair result both team played nicely there were some small mistakes but it is nice at the end the blocks Croxigore got the level up I wonder about the uh, level up dice and the fresh skin got the level up and they, both teams are two win one draw lead yeah this is the end of this match and let's continue with the with the next match next match is another match i watched the necromantic versus ogres And here, let me change the screen to that match result. Necromantic team won 2-0 this match. I was expecting Ogre team keep their momentum, but yeah, were the this werewolf is really very crazy strong, crazy strong, and this necromantic team is really nasty. It's very hard to stop them. And 2-0 is a fair result, I think. But let's let's check some notes from this match. A necromantic team had 16 players. Full roster with 3 rerolls. Ogres have 14 players with 2 reserves. And they got the inducements Bertha, Dribble Snot, 2 babes. With normal, they have 4 rerolls with leader skill. There is a leader noblar. Ogres choose to receive. Nothing happened on the opening kick hits. Even there was a snotling foul. Nothing happened. Ball was uh, on the agility tree. Juggernaut Ogre. Very solid ball carrier. First removal came with a KO DP zombie by the block Ogre. Three dice hit on turn two. But then the ref caught the second foul attempt. Double ones sent off from the Ogres. Noblar. We saw a dodge out attempt from a diving tackle by the killer wolf Imperatore. I failed from the necro team. Luckily, no armor break on turn three. Ogre thir turn six was a crit was a critical turn for the game. Necromantic team made some pressure on the ogre team, and then the ball carrier ogre double sculpt the bone head roll. That was very unfortunate and let, left himself open for a blitz. And he was also away from the other players. He was only the left guy behind. Then Imperatore, the killer wolf, hit the ball carry roger, the agility 3-1, and removed him from the field. Actually, so far he was very silent. Got some hits already, but nothing happened till to that point. But this was just the perfect time to shine. MNG the ball carrier roger and the ball caught by the white. Bloch Wolf was left on a surfable position. Ogres firstly attacked the offering and surfed, surfed him. Badly hurt Wolf and Regen failed. He is out for this match. Then got four dice on the ball carrier white with reroll, but just skulls and pushes. 
Turn 7, Necro managed to bring the ball into a safe touchdown distance with the Imperatore after some dodges, one dice hit and a final handoff. Actually, Bertha was in range with her movement 6 and dodge rack tackle skills. Needed 3 2 pluses for a 2 dice hit on the blotch. You have to try this, but she failed the first GFI. Anyway, it ended 1-0 for the Necro in the first half. Very good, very good result for the Necro team here. Second half, they will have the ball also. Second half, Ogres, uh, they are missing one Ogre. But they have enough players with subs. Leader left out probably for a throw team late play. He kept in the subs. Dribble Snot is on the field. He's... He has the potential always. He can cause some trouble. Necro team, four players out with double uh, KO fail. But their deep roster helped here. They still have a sub at this point. They started the game with 16 players. That's crazy. It was in an interesting start to the second half from Necro team. They made a pass play to Strength 4, Strength 4 Wolf and run alone. Deep behind the ogres. Then took Dauntless, two dice hit. Two dice or one dice, depending on the Dauntless roll with Might Blow White, and removed her. But that was, but it was like a potato, you know? That was a possible hit on the ball carrier wolf with an ogre. Just a one GFI distance. I didn't like the play from Necro here. Ogres failed the sack, but and here the, that risk is not punished. Ogres were unlucky. Ogres made a nice pressure on the ball. They couldn't drop the ball, but then Necro ran away with some lucky dice. Honestly, one dice to negative dice hits with the ball carrier. Uh, dodges, GFIs, and the potato. But there's still a two dice hit left on him, or a bomb attempt. Or if you you can also start with a dribble snot uh, bomb attempt at that point. And ogre coach preferred the bomb at first, a four plus accurate, but targeted to fall wolf and end up. Uh, the wolf catching the bomb and he throw it back then it ended the turn with a turnover for the ogres because a no blood ko as, as a result i think here the ogres needed needed to target just around the ball carrier in case he can catch the ball not directly himself a good try from the necro a good try from the Ogres, but Necro didn't fail again, anything, and they got the touchdown 2-0. Ogres immediately tried a fast one-turn touchdown attempt. It is understandable. You have to try it, but failed on turn 12. Jojushi again gave an easy hit on the ball. I think he trusted the blotch strength for Wolf too much. And this time he is pout and fouled to KO. Could play much more better here. Turn 14, the dirt player fall from Necro. Three players supporting and killed the piling on Ogre. That was a sad moment for the Ogre team. And Apos, Apos said, you are not that, but you are another slower Ogre for the Ogres. This team is, this team Ogres are really very slow. There are three movements passed already on the Ogres. 13, turn 14, Ogres tried to one turn touchdown again, hurry up for a touchdown to have a chance on the draw, but this time failed the landing. Match ended, 2-0 win for the Necromantic team, grass to Jojushi, also nice effort from the Andy on. Uh, Jojushi took some unnecessary risks, I think, but Ogres couldn't punish them because of unlucky dices, I have to say. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see a draw or win from the Ogres here. Uh, as I said, Necro team did some 
questionable place in my opinion. They were just not unlucky today. And I need to mention 50 blocks from the Ogres. But it is also nice to see the Necro team get their first points with a win in the league. They were two losses so far. Yeah. This match ended like this. Let's continue with the with the next match. Our next match is Chaos versus High House. This is a strong result. 0 to 3. I was expecting a 0 2 result. Actually, I got close. And but High House scored one more. And they scored three touchdowns this week. Very nice result for the High House. Let's check the uh, results page in game. Match number four, three zero for the High House. Four armor breaks, but eight armor breaks from the Chaos. They make they made three passes. This Chaos team is trying passes. <laughs> this is okay for a for an Elf team trying passes but when you see these passes it's interesting they have two agility four players i know but you don't need to try these passes i think always 31 blocks to 21 blocks how about uh, sustained four chaos on the chaos side and two injuries three casualties sustained from the high half team how about the SPPs? Wow. 9, 16, 21 SPP for the High House. That's very good. And 12 SPP only for the Chaos team. Let me check the dice results. Pick up, pass, catch, fireball. So they throw the fireball. Oh. The high road. Hmm. Coming back from the KO is 50%. Okay. Dodge is okay. Intercept. They made an intercept. Probably it should be a critical situation in the match. The block dices. The high off team got very few skulls. They didn't have too many dices, but very few skulls. Others looks okay. Can Chaos team slightly... Yeah. It is also okay, I think, considering the number of dices. And let's also check the in-game. Uh, result page. One warrior died. Yeah. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Only the four levels. That's a sad progress for the Chaos team. That's very unfortunate. But there's a level up on a good warrior. Two plus agilities in this team. That's really very interesting. And in the high off team. We see a uh, no level up and nothing also very special. This catcher is getting very close to the level up. Also, the blitzer is getting closer. He made two casts, as you expect this kind of work from the mighty blow, your only mighty blow player. So, he did his job today, it looks like. Swan Turner got the MVP, so he will be better if he can get more level ups. Yeah, this match ended like this. Chaos team so far got only uh, one draw, so they need better results. Let's see. And our next match is Dark Elf versus Wood Elves.
here it doesn't show the match results so far but when we check from the uh, team's records so we can see the result page and also i will also check from the in-game let let's check from the in-game results first of all it is 2-2 two, two. one that on the dark elf team uh, the fresh which elf uh, which died Forty seven blocks from the Dark Elf team. That's really that's really strong. How about the sustained numbers? Two chaos sustained and one cast sustained on the Dark Elf team versus three chaos sustained from the Wood Elf and one casualty sustained. The SPP comparison is nine fourteen here. 9, 10, and 15 here, very close to each other. How about the dice? Dark Elf dice looks very average. 1D. Wood Elf team. Now it also looks average, but when we check the, in detail, pass not very good, right? Dodge is slightly below. GFI looks good. Leap, okay. Take root, oh, that's bad. And loner failed one time. Dark elf team. This is the wood elf fireball, probably right. It it shows on the other team page, so wasn't very effective. It looks like. Three players not didn't fall, it looks like, and one player down. JFI is not very good. So just hard to comment with these numbers because we don't know whether they are two plus or three plus. It if it was a difficult try. Leap successful. Okay, let's check the block dices. Block dices for the Dark Elves are okay. Wood Elf team is almost perfectly average. <laughs> Very nice. So, looks like a fair result, but of course we don't know the details too much. Slime Man is getting closer to a new level up. That's nice. And this kick, Kicker Line Man got a new level up. That's a very nice uh mvp probably we can see a blotch lineman or i don't know maybe a tackle let's see we can also see the result page from the rebel net yeah mvp gone to a good player a witch have died that's unfortunate and the high off team Two touchdowns came from the same catcher. And there's a new level up on this catcher. Uh, let's see the result. Maybe a sidestep. And a fresh lineman also got a level up. Yeah, very good. Very good. Not a very big loss. It was a fresh witch elf. But with 4 SPP. And our next match is the Goblin versus Orc team. I made a video about this match. If you like, you can watch it in YouTube. And But we can also roughly check my notes about the match. Match started as the Goblins needed. You know, they need to receive and got some removals. Yeah, it started similar parallel to this situation but after they failed one over nine they couldn't cover the ball they still had shot to score but first half ended as zero zero both sides couldn't score orcs scored uh, with a pitch clear walking touchdown on turn 16 they got some nice nasty removals they killed the troll 
A very sad time. But the goblins replied back with a troll teammate play. With one troll on the field, one agility five goblin plus three more goblins. So five players on the field. They just steal your two points. This is the <laughs> this is the look from the orc side probably. But this will happen. Grass to the goblins, actually. Yeah, they, this is their first point of the season. And actually, they could win this game also. In the first half, they could score. Orcs, I think, surely not happy with this result. So, teammate plays generally hard to make, but at least they got some nice SPP from this match. Yeah. Let's continue with the last match. Uh, let's continue with the last match of the week. It is. It's the Nurgle versus Chaos Dwarf. I watched this match. I took some notes. And first of all, let me show you the result page. It ended 1 0 win for the, for the Nurgle team. This is their first win. Uh, again, they lost some players, as you can see, and nothing, nothing, not nothing lost on the Chaos Dwarf team. And let's check my notes about the match. Uh, Nurgle team, eleven players, three reroll. There were some loners. They don't have enough players to fill today, but they got some more inducements. Fear Wizard plus Babe. Chaos Dwarves has two subs, so 13 players, and they got three rerolls. Chaos Dwarves choose to receive. On turn two, first injury from the Chaos Dwarves on their drive. A rotor block, a rotor with block. Uh, sorry, first injury from Chaos Dwarves on turn two is a rotor with block. Minus movement. And MNG uh, still handy for the loss and got a clean hit, but no MB, no mighty blow. But on the single pass of Nurgle, and nothing happened. It was a good try, good hit there. Nurgle KO'd a wrestle hobo and also injured another wrestle hobo on turn two. And then turn three, Chaos Dwarfs nicely served the single pass of the Nurgle team, but the ball carrier bull left on the sideline. This was a critical turn. Nurgle team took the shot with the red dice. I think it's a very nice attempt. You have to try it. How and stumble. So got to serve. You got to try it. And the bull is badly hurt. Chaos Dwarf team acted a little greedy for the win. They used the Apple, so he will be back in the second half or earlier. On turn 4, Nurgle team Beast took a Geophyte to mark the ball. While many players not moved yet. I didn't like it, honestly. And turn 5, Chaos Dwarf was under serious pressure. Their man down, marked... But they scattered the ball and the last pool got the scatter with a six on the catch. And but he's in the middle of guard chaos dwarf blockers, so looks like okay. That was handy for them. And annoying for the Nurgle team at this point. Turn six, Chaos Dwarf Bull double skull to fall appearance on the beast, then failed the tentacles, so couldn't run away. It was a critical fail. By the way, this drive, first half, fall appearances really hit very strongly. They are very nice. Then turn 7, Chaos Dwarf managed to get away from the tents, tentacles with the two dice on the rotor, but then failed the 2 plus dodge. Rack tackle dodge. This reminds the last week failed dodge against the humans. Uh, they're continuously failing two matches in a row. A critical two plus dodge. 
nothing special afterwards and uh, first half ended 0-0 second half starts with both sides uh, chaos all came back so Nurgle is 10 players with with wizard they got the ball against 11 players chaos dwarf they have also one subs then Nurgle team started the second half uh, with hits on loss, but they also organized one foul with four assists, no DP foul on a wrestle hobo. I don't agree with this foul, no bribe, no dirty player, and you are already a 10 player on the field. But they got the injury, but it is a sent off. Good trade at the end for the Nurgle. Loner Rotor versus a Wrestle Hobo. So it is 9 versus 10 from now on. And Chaos Dwarves tried a 4 plus Rack Tackle Dodge. No Dodge skill. So they will need to use the reroll. And they needed to use the reroll for the Dodge. But they got the hit. The ball is on the ground, but no removal. And it was a good shot from the Chaos Dwarves. Very nice play. I didn't see it coming when I was watching. Turn 11, uh, Nurgle needed to reroll a two dice hit with the block. It wasn't a double skull. And it was just to get a pow. And the ball was marked. It was very risky and wrong in my opinion. Then the potato to ball carrier and ball to bull that could blitz him, hoping for an AV break. I completely disagree with the Nurgle turn here. He could just step back a little bit. No need to make this run. Chaos Dwarf, three GFIs, blitz, two die hit on the ball, one over nine rerolled to one over nine. Astigor keep the ball. That was very unfortunate for the Chaos Dwarves. Turn 12. Nurgle Pastigor nicely run away with a two dice split some, and some GFIs. Chaos Dwarves still had a shot with the bull marked with the beast. He passed the tentacle rolls with reroll, made three GFIs, but 2D hit failed with double skulls. That's really enjoying two turns for the Chaos Dwarves. On turn 14, Nurgle went for the touchdown after there was a pressure on the ball. So it is 1-0 for the Nurgle. For the remaining turns, Nurgle has 8 players. Chaos Dwarf has 11 players. Surely there is a shot for the Dwarf, for the draw. Uh, kickoff event, Nurgle Rotor with kick died from the rock. So the curse is still on on the Nurgle team. But a very deep kick so on the touchdown zone. So Chaos Dwarf needs a very long run in three turns to score. At the end, full all appearance was very effective in the match. 11, 11 succeeded, 12, 22 failed. Very helpful. Block dices were better for the Nurgle. And Chaos Dwarf deserved at least a draw here, in my opinion. Uh, but it's Blood Bowl. You know, best of luck for the bot teams for the next weeks. And match ended like this. And we, we finished the results uh, of, of this week. Let's continue with the with the predictions for the week four and we can open the match page the first match and we can also change the title can start the predictions so the first match of the week four is between Scaven team and the Dark Elf team.
there will be a wizard surely for the for the scaven kate car they got a nice draw against the dwarves this week they got some critical players very good cutter runners this moon bust and armor bust really sucks they have mighty blow we don't know the next maybe a tackle next skill and the dark house dark house got a very nice witch this increased armor really very questionable choice i didn't like it a plus agility these are very annoying very nice players watch sidestep tackles and a mighty blow this can be a critical player this match I believe uh, this match will end for the this will end well for the for the rats I believe Scaven will win this 2 to 1 because Scaven with wizard is always nice Scaven will lose some players obviously but they will get some nice inducements Let's see. The next match is between uh, Goblins and Chaos. It's a home match for the Goblins. I think this is the match for Goblins to win. And I think this will end up a very nice uh, inducements with Altar. 12 players on the chaos team this mighty blow of tackles are annoying of course but and one there is a fresh warrior i think this will end up a 2-1 win for the goblins and our next match is between Nurgle versus Necro there's a huge TV difference between two teams 1370 next match team value Spastigor is very nice he can do some job but the Necro team has a very good killer a very good killer I wonder about the inducements for the necro uh, the for the Nurgle team here, whether they can get some muscle for this match. I believe a uh, Nurgle team will play better this match, and they will get the win. They're very low in TV comparison, but. Based on the matches I'm watching so far, uh, I'm, I'm expecting a better performance from the Nurgle team. Let's see, I will say 2-1 win or 1-0 win for the Nurgles. Probably they will stop the score and they will score on their drive. Fourth match of the week between Chaos Dwarf versus Lizards. Chaos Dwarves has one claw only, but no mighty blow, so probably they will be under some difficulty here. Their bulls are very good, though. And the Chaos, the Lizard team has a Blodge Stand Firm Croxigore. This is a new level up. Pretty nice. Apart from one Sauros, they all have block or wrestle. Wrestle is an interesting choice, but it can work. These skinks are very nice. The fresh skin got a sidestep. And we don't know this level up. There's another one. They have the subs, two subs. I feel like... Uh, 
I think the Chaos Dwarf team will score and the Lizard team will get also a score. So I will say a 1-1 one -one here. 1-1 one -one draw. Yeah. Next match, Orcs versus Dwarves. Jospak versus Troy Tempest. The TVs are very close to each other. Orc team has too many mighty blows. They got troll. They got black, black orcs. They got some muscle and three guards. The dwarf team has some guards, obviously, but considering their strength down, their dauntless can help a little bit. Hmm. But I believe uh, dwarves has the advantage in this match. I think I will give win for the, or let's say it's a draw. It's another draw, 1-1. One, one. Yeah. It's a close one. It's a close one. I will say it's a 1-1. One, one. And next match is between Wood Elf versus Human Team. T Colt versus War Demon. Human Team is doing very well this season so far. Fourteen ten ogre is gone, but they may buy the ogre, so they will increase some some TV. There is a very nice blitzer, no tackle though. There is only one tackle with block and lineman, block and tackle on this lineman. I'm not sure if it is enough. And this wood elf team is just very nasty, very nasty war dancers. Mighty blow, tackle, strip ball, guard. Very nice. There is a very nice one turner too. I think in normal conditions the Wood Elf team win this match, but this season the human team is doing very well so far. So I will give... Considering all the things, I think Wood Elves they will win this match somehow. I will say one, two, two to one, two to one for the Wood Elf team. Last match of the season, I already uh, noticed there is it is scheduled also. It, it it will be on Thursday, twelve UTC. Uh, Probably this is my time, so 17 UTC. Elves are generally very effective against ogres. And they have less ogres, so they will have some inducements. They can include some ogres to the team. But it's gonna be, whatever the condition, it's gonna be difficult to protect the ball, progress the ball. It is very, very difficult matchups. Ogres versus Elves for the Ogres. And considering the teams, there is a mighty below tackle, so he can hunt the Snotlings pretty nicely. There's an Agility plus Elf. I think uh, Elves will win this 2-1. Maybe, maybe it is, even it is 2-0. I will say 2-0 now for the Elves. We reach to the end of the predictions also. And is there anything else we want we can check? Let me think. Mm. I think that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you wish you good luck and fun in your next matches. And thank you very much for joining today. Please, if you have any suggestion, any idea, please feel free to suggest. 
I will try my best to watch the games if possible to make videos about the replays last week I could only m make a match video for the goblin team match uh, versus orcs but let's see let's see let's see what we can do yeah that's the end thank you see you next time bye bye